This is just a quick tutorial on how to make this blood dripping effect using the blood dripping video assets from Lumabox. So I will just start from scratch. Now the first thing I want to do is put blood dripping in its own comp. So what I do is I click and drag it onto this icon here and now it is sat inside its own comp. Now what we don't have in this file is any transparency information. If I toggle on the transparency grid, nothing happens. This still stays black because there is no transparency currently in this comp. Um, but we can do something about that using the blood dripping alpha file. So if I click and drag that into the comp with blood dripping, I can use blood dripping alpha as a track mat for blood dripping. Now what that means is that blood dripping will look to blood dripping alpha for its transparency information. So my track mats live here in this column. If you don't see them, you might need to toggle switches modes. Now I can set the track mat on blood dripping to blood dripping alpha. Now something has happened the visibility of blood dripping alpha switched off, which is what we want, but we still do not see any transparency information, any alpha information. That is because the track mat is currently set to alpha, whereas we want it to be set to luma, short for luminance. And that just means that blood dripping is going to look at the luminance information on this layer to tell it whether to be opaque or transparent. So what's happening is all the bright white areas of blood dripping alpha are telling blood dripping to be fully opaque and the black areas are telling it to be transparent. So that's good. We have transparency now in our blood dripping comp. So if I were to drag blood dripping into my scene, then I have a pretty nice blood dripping effect. I think I might add a little drop shadow to this just to kind of separate it from the background and give it a little bit more um, three dimensionality. Uh, and I can do that by right clicking on blood dripping and going to layer styles, drop shadow. Um, you might need to expand the layer using this swivel arrow. And then inside your layer styles, there's your drop shadow and I can expand that and play with some of these parameters. For example, I might increase the distance a little bit um, to something like that and maybe the spread just to kind of soften up the shadow a little bit. Yeah, I like that. So I'll collapse that back down. And I like that for a blood dripping effect. So if you're after um, a sort of a blood look, then you would be finished. For me though, I sort of want to try and match the liquid drips to the oozy dripping green liquid going on in my content. So what I can do is actually change the color of the blood to be green. And I'm gonna do that with a hue and saturation color correction effect. So I'm just going to change the dial on the master hue until I'm in the ballpark of the kind of green that I'm matching. That's pretty good. I'll maybe up the saturation a little bit, up the lightness. And I think that's a fairly good match. So now I've made a green liquid dripping out of my blood dripping file.